Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Arabic Khatawat. This is our second part of lesson two from Al Kitab vocabulary. Mufradat Al Kitab Ad Dars Athani. In this lesson, we're going to cover Al Jama'a. Al Jama'a, plural. You can see Al Jama'a in four different categories. Uh, al jama with verbs, with nouns, with pronouns, and with adjectives. We're going to look at all these four examples and see how we can determine which ones are af'al, verbs, which ones are asma, nouns, which ones are dama'ir, pronouns, and sifat, adjectives. For al-af'al, verbs, we usually look at a chart of verb conjugation. When we look at the plural form, we see we, you all, you all feminine, and then they masculine, and they feminine. The charts usually show you the us or we basically as one because the speaker the speakers would say nahnu, whether they're masculine or feminine. Nahnu, nahnu. And then you'll have entum, you all, and entunna, you all. But this one would be feminine and this masculine. Then we'll have hum, they, all, and then hunna, they all again feminine. Hum wa hunna. The verb conjugation chart would also say um, that these have to be in three different categories. We have the present tense, al mudara, nahnu, naamal, and the verb we have here is amila, amila. In this video, we're going to look at all the possible uh, verb conjugation in tenses. So the examples I took from the chart are in al madi and then al mudari and al mustaqbal You could always go back to the chart, pause and look at the verb conjugation, but just to be mindful of time, I'd like to use only these examples where I'm only referring to plural using we and you all. And then we're going to use other examples. So let's begin. Al Madi Amilna Amilna Wamiltum. I'm referring to Nahnu. And as I was saying earlier, Nahnu is for both feminine and masculine, referring to we. When we have it in Al Madi, the verb conjugation has ending. So Nahnu Amilna Nahnu Amilna. And then you all, antum, and this one is only masculine, mudakkar, antum amiltum. So the ending of verbs in the past, al madi, would have tum at the end. When we're looking at the present tense, al mudare, which is the present tense, we're looking at, here this is the present, we're looking at the initial right here and also we have it here ta'malun prefixes and suffixes so we have nahnu na'mal nahnu na'mal antum we have ta and then the verb in here and then the ending una una but we we only have na at the beginning of verbs when it comes to present tense and future we keep the present tense conjugation when we're talking about future but we use sa and sa is an abbreviation or short word for sofa sofa the way you would think about it is like will and apostrophe l double l so the apostrophe or the short form would be sa and then the long form would be sofa, sofa. And sofa always takes place with the present tense. That way we're highlighting or circling it right here. When we're saying you all work, 
ستعملون or you will all work will all work you will all work literally it doesn't look like it's the the right order in english but you would read from right to left in arabic and then you'll have uh, the order all of this you will work is only one word in in arabic so that's something very important to remember uh, let me just make sure i highlight that one more time so we said we work we will work what you have here all of this is only one word in arabic where all of this it has a reference so we is na will is sa and work amila see that but once you put it together in one word it will be sa na amal سنعمل. and as you can see we have different highlighted parts of we will work so will and then we and here we have work same thing for you will all work so you have here will and then you all has two parts so you have the initial part and the, the final part and this one refers to you all plural uh, masculine and then you have the verb here work just to be mindful of how to place verb conjugation make sure you go over uh, the list like i showed you earlier here you'll have a chart we'll try to put the uh, website where you can have access to verb conjugation charts uh, in the description box Coming back to these examples, as we said, we're only using we and you all as an example. Nahnu and antum. Nahnu, we, and then antum, you all masculine. Nahnu and antum. We'll look at the pronouns in, in the following uh, parts of this lesson. So the second category is nouns. And nouns come actually also in three different parts which is the fun part about Arabic. Nouns are, introdu are introduced to students or learners in three categories as broken plurals, and then you have them as human plurals, and then you have them as non-human plurals. The fun part about each category is that it actually comes in masculine and feminine. So whether you're looking at human plurals or non-human plurals, you're also looking at gender in all of these categories. We'll see some examples. That way it comes uh, or becomes a lot clearer. Asma, nouns. We have muwazzafun, muwazzafun, employees. Rijal, men. Tunusiyun, Tunisians. And then we have muwazzafat, employees. Nisa, uh, women, sayyarat, cars, and then we have buyut, houses, buyut. So, muwazzafun, rijal, tunusiyun. Here, let's read it one more time. Muwazzafun, rijal, tunusiyun, muwazzafat, nisa, sayyarat, and buyut. Muwazzafun, employees. And this is the masculine form, mudakkar. And all the mudakkar is, is highlighted in blue. And here, men, Tunisian Tunisians, like Tunisian people or Tunisian uh, men. Um, and here, muadhafat, same thing, employees, but it's for female groups, nisa, women. 
Sayarat, cars, and Buyut houses. As you can see them here. Sayarat, and then Muadhafun wa Muadhafat. As you can see, we have non human plurals, human plurals, and broken plurals. When we say broken plurals, that means the word changes in the plural form. So for Rijal, Nisa, Imra'a, wa Nisa. The broken, the broken plural also is possible in non human uh, objects. So like the word Buyut. So this is all broken plural. Buyut. The singular form of the word Buyut houses is Bayt. So it would change to Buyut. What happens here is that Bayt is masculine. And the plural form of, of bait becomes feminine. As we said, non-human plurals take feminine and masculine. Mudakkar and mu'annath. For the bro broken plurals in humans, you can obviously determine whether it's masculine or feminine by having a whole new word. Um, so you won't have one singular word that would refer to both men and women, but you'd have two separate words that are broken plurals. When we say broken pl plurals, that means they don't follow any pattern. There is not the at pattern or the un pattern. The at is usually used for regular plurals when you're saying feminine, and the un is usually used also in the regular plur plural masculine. Those are different examples that we're going to look at. So let's just keep um, using the examples we have on here. So what I was saying, the plural, regular plurals are the un. And then un at the end, and then you have at. That follows a pattern, like I was saying. You have the at pattern, and you have the un pattern. The broken plural does not have that pattern. It changes completely. Nisa. And each word is different. You just have to memorize them and group them by saying masculine, feminine. Uh, that's it. So masculine, broken plurals, and then feminine, broken plurals. Looking at sayarat, sayarat is not a broken plural. Um, so it is a non-human because it's an object. The singular form would be sayara. It's already feminine. Nothing changes. And then you just follow the pattern. Sayarat. Sayarat. Which is the at pattern for feminine. Sayarat. But there is something really unique about non-human plurals. And I'd like you to just pay attention that non-human plurals are quite different uh, when it comes to taking adjectives. As we explore more examples, we will learn why. For the dama'ir, the pronouns, we have two types of pronouns. We have the possessive pronouns that take place at the end of words, but they are still attached to the word. That's why we have that connection over here. It means you have to place your noun right next to or attached to this possessive pronoun, unless you have a letter that doesn't connect, like the ra. So then you would, or the that or the wow. Then, of course, you will leave that space over here. The other part or category of pronouns, we have subject pronouns. And those refer to actual people when we have the names. Like, let's say we have, um, we have Ibrahim. And then we have um, Ayman. And let's say we have another name, Omar. So we say Ibrahim, Ayman, Omar. These are male names. If I'm going to refer to them as they, I'll have to say hum, hum, hum. But if I'm using feminine names, I say Maryam, or Fatima, or Emily. I have to use they, but in this case, I use hunna, which is they for, for a group of females. Um, when we say we, 
let's say Anna wa. I'm using Anna wa Ibrahim wa Maryam. Ibrahim, Maryam, and I. Nahnu we. It doesn't matter if you are masculine or feminine. If the group is masculine or feminine, both of them will say we. That's why we're referring to it by using this um, neutral color. And then you all, plural, antum, antum. And then antunna, you all, plural, but this one is feminine. If I'm addressing Ibrahim, Ayman, and Umar, I would say antum, Ibrahim, sahih. Anta Ibrahim, Anta Ayman, Anta Umar, but you all, Antum, Antum Muadhafun, you're all employees. Then I would say Antum Muadhafun. If I'm addressing Maryam, Fatima, or Emily, and I want to say you are all employees, I would say Antunna. I'm addressing them. Antunna Muadhafat. Antunna muadhafat. Antunna muadhafat. If I'm talking about Omar and Ayman and um, Ibrahim, I'll say hum. They are. Hum muadhafun. And I'll still keep the plural masculine. <clears throat> the plural masculine noun, which is the job, their job. An employee or employees. Hum, they are. Hum, muadhafun. They are employees. And if I'm talking about Maryam, Fatima, or Emily, I would say hunna, then muadhafat. Hum, muadhafun, hunna, muadhafat. Right here, I'm talking about them, but here I'm addressing them. I'm talking to them. And same with, with antunna to them. As we're using the possessive pronoun, this is a very important one um, because what happens is that you use the possessive pronouns when we say we have or when we say uh, with them, I go with them. So let's say I work with them and I want to say with them. Them for plural masculine, it would be whom them for plural feminine it would be hunna and my example is i work with them and i want to make sure i use proper um subject pronoun uh sorry proper possessive pronoun so ma ma is with so well, i'll write it right here ma is with then i want to say with them ma hum I'm referring to Ibrahim, Ayman, and Omar. Ma'ahum. With them. And if I'm saying with Maryam, Fatima, Emily, I would say ma'ahunna. With them. Referring to the female group. With them. If I'm addressing Maryam, Fatima, and Emily, and I would say, I want to go with you. Uridu an adhaba ma'akunna. Ma'a. I'm still using ma'a. I'll use it right here and attach it to kunna with you all feminine kunna. If I'm talking to Ibrahim, Ayman, and Omar, and I say I want to, I study with you, adrus ma'akum, and I would say ma'akum, you all masculine, but ma'ana, let come with us. Ta'ala ma'ana. Ma'ana. And here you're saying with us. And it doesn't matter who's saying it. Ta'ala ma'ana. Come with us. So as you can see, we have subject pronouns. They always happen before verbs or before nouns. They're never, never attached. The only pronouns that are attached are possessive pronouns because they can be attached to nouns and also um, to subject pronouns like we have here. What we're using here is subject pronouns. We can see other examples like um, our, our work, عملنا, and that's also an, a possessive pronoun. Amalukum, uh, your work. Amalukunna, uh, your work also. 
عملهم their work and then عملهن their work. So possessive pronouns, they come like with us when you're using um, prepositions of place like مع. And they also refer to the English words our, your, your, their, and their. But you have to be very particular of or specific when you're saying the feminine and masculine, whether you're addressing people or you're talking about people. We'll see more examples. Let's look at this sentence to see how we can place um, the pronouns, but we could also see verbs and nouns um, as examples. But here we're going to look at pronouns. So the subject pronoun we have here is نحنو. We. And in this case, it's we are because you have a job right there. Uh, we are and the job is a noun. We are موظفون. نحن موظفون. And employee. نحن موظفون. أمريكيون. And here you have American. And even American would follow the, the plural form of the word employees. And it would agree with it. Amrikiyun, muwadhafun, having the exact same un. So, nahnu. Nahnu muwadhafun amrikiyun. And you could still say, nahnu muwadhafat amrikiyat. And here you have the feminine. We have, aindana. And let's look at عندنا. عند is have. And I, I try to remind everyone uh, when you are exposed to the word عند that it is not a verb in Arabic. Although in English you'd refer to it as the verb to have. But in Arabic it is not a, a verb. Mm, see, I'll not cross. I'll, I'll just make sure that you... Know that it is not a verb, it is a possession. So when you say we have, you say عندنا. All the other um, preposition, uh, sorry, the possessive pronouns that took place with prepositions like مع. And if you've watched the video of prepositions in place, li, lahu, lena, for us, and all of that, the prepositions would be attached to na, as well as um, have, the possessive. So both of them would be ma'ana, with us, and then indana, we have. But we have, and with us, we'll have the exact same uh, pronoun which we refer to as possessive pronoun. If we're going to say our company, the word company is sharika, and we're trying to say our company is international, sharikatuna, sharika, we keep sharika, and we keep the feminine ta in the regular shape of t, and then we say our, Na, our company. Sharikatuna. Dualia does not change at all. Unlike Amrikiya, uh, you could say, um, sorry, let me put a different color. That way you remember which adjective describes which noun. So, Sharika. Sharika is a noun. But when you say Amrikiya or Dualiya, this becomes singular. You do not say Na here with American. American only describes the noun because in this case it's an adjective. So you would say Sharikatuna Amrikiya, Sharikatuna Dualiya, international. Sharikatuna Arabiya, Arab company. So whatever you use to describe your company has to take the, the gender of the word sharika, which is company, which is feminine. So Amrikiya, Arabiya, Europiya, Dualiya, Mahalliya, whichever description you use here, 
it will refer to the company. When you use our, it does not change anything or your, it doesn't change anything. You just place the possession over here and the sentence or the adj adjective stays the same because what you're describing is Sherika, you're not describing the employees. The employees can become plural, but Sherika is already fem feminine singular. So let's look, read this sentence without all of these notes and see if you can detect which ones are masculine uh, and possessive and all of what we covered in, in, in this part. So, نحن موظفون أمريكيون وموظفات أمريكيات عندنا شركة دولية نعمل مع رجال أعمال أوروبيون And then you can keep going. So the verb here, we work, you have it. نعمل نحن نعمل We work. And then عندنا We have. And رجال أعمال Both of these are broken plurals of the word rajul, men. And then amal is a uh, work. So you would say amal. And amal is the plural for works. Amal is one work or one job. So businessmen would be rajul amal. Afwan, rijal amal. Businessmen would be rijal amal. رجال أعمال with ألف أعمال but if you're saying one man it would be رجل still أعمال so if you're saying رجال أعمال رجال is the only part that changes which is businessmen Business would remain the same. Amal in both. And then Rajul, one man. So business man. Wahid. Wahid. more than one. Jameel, let's look at more examples. This lesson has a lot more examples for you to follow and it will help you determine where you can see and recognize the plural forms. We can change the dama'ir or the pronouns, uh, but we can keep the gender of the nouns we have. So if we're talking about them, we say, Hum muwaddafun. They are American employees. Hum muwaddafun amerikiyun. And hunna, females, hunna muwaddafat amerikiyat. Aindahum, referring to the masculine, they have. And aindahunna, referring to feminine, they have. شركة دولية, international company. Referring to the masculine, عن, uh, عفواً, يعملون, they work. Referring to whom. And when we say و and يعملنا, we're using the feminine, referring to هن. مع, with, رجال, men. وسيدات, women. رجال, أعمال. وسيدات أعمال أوروبيون referring to men and you could say أوروبيات referring to females the more you read the more um, you recognize the plural so let's see This is the third part of the plural form and in this case we're going to remember that there are non-human plurals and then we have human plurals. I'll refer to them as NH for non-human and then we have human. When we say non-human we're referring to objects like car and houses and then where we're saying موظفون and muwaddafat, all of this is human, referring to actual people. The difference here is that we're looking at the adjectives. Aw as-sifat, as-sifat. 
when you're looking at a sifat, this is our third part of plurals in lesson two. There are a lot of uh, parts here because, or multiple parts here, because we're addressing pl plurals in nouns and plurals in adjectives, plurals in pronouns, and then also in verbs. Um, we're using similar vocabulary, that way you can see how the ending or the prefixes and suffixes change, and how the broken plurals also change when you are exposed to the exact same vocabulary. So let's look at these. When we're using humans, as we explained, um, sifat, adjectives, we use nouns over here before we... This is our third part of lesson two from Al-Kitab, Mufradat Al-Kitab, Al-Kitab vocabulary, Ad-Dars Al-Thani, Ad-Dars Al-Thani. In this part, we're covering adjectives. We're using the exact same vocabulary that we used in the previous video, where we are looking at the plural words and looking at the feminine words, but also we're looking at other feminine words of objects. What we covered in the previous video is that we have non-human plurals, and those are objects, non-human plurals, and then we have human plurals. We're referring to actual people, human plurals. When we're using human plurals, there, there are two parts. There are broken plurals, like we said here in Rijal and Nisa. The word from one man or one woman changes completely and they don't follow any pattern. And like un, there is a pattern here un and at. It's like you're saying regular and irregular. So broken plurals are irregular plurals and where, you, where you're saying regular, you follow a pattern. Um, so here looking at this, we're using adjectives in this part. We have مشغول, busy, مشغول. موظفون مشغولون. The adjectives agrees with the gender of the noun. So if it's plural, it will follow it. If it's masculine, it will agree with it as well. So it will follow the exact same pattern. When you're saying rijal, in this case, it doesn't follow a pattern because um, the pattern of rijal because it's broken plural, but it follows the pattern of regular plural which is un referring to masculine. You can't change this one in, in this example right here. There are other adjectives that are also irregular, like when you use gharib, strange, or foreigner. The, there are adjectives that become also broken adjectives. This is very fun in Arabic, where you say ghuraba, foreigners, or strangers. Ghuraba, ghuraba, gharib, ghuraba. And in this example, it does not follow a pattern as well. So we would say irregular or broken adjective. But right here, when I'm using European or I'm using American, regardless of whether the noun is, ma uh, is broken plural or regular plural like employees, it would follow the gender, which is un, un for masculine. The same for the other human plurals, like employees, female employees, muadha fat, muadha fat. So let's clear this one here. We have muadha fat, and then we have jayidat, muadha fat, jayidat. Both of them follow this pattern. And nisa uropiyat. Only the adjectives follow the pattern of the feminine word nisa. And in this case, Shayidat, good. So good employees and European women. The point for adjectives is that they follow the pattern at when it's feminine. And they follow the pattern un when it's masculine. The other important part to remember when it comes to non-human plurals. Non-human plurals. 
what happens is that the adjectives take singular feminine adjective when describing non-human plurals. So let me write the rule here for you, that way you remember it. Non-human words, non-human, let's say non-human nouns, take singular feminine adjectives. In the examples we have here, cars, we're referring to them Japanese using feminine, and fast using feminine. Yabaniya sari'a. Sayarat yabaniya sari'a. Fast Japanese cars. In order to acquire what we covered today in today's video, we have to look at different examples where we could see the nouns, pronouns, adjectives, and verbs in actual examples with mufradat al-kitab, with the al-kitab lesson two vocabulary. This is going to be in the upcoming sessions. Uh, so please, if you have any questions, just place them in the comment section and take some time to process what we covered in today's video and also let us know if you have any further uh, questions or require any explanation that that way we can include it in the upcoming video. Thank you so much for joining today. Wa alaikum.